Hello. If you are working with a customs broker or CHA, customs house agent, then this video is meant for you. There is G card concept. G card, it is a license issued by the customs department to the employees of the customs brokers after they have passed an exam. So this exam which I am referring, this is called G card exam and this is a held under CBLR regulations 2018 and to be very specific this is regulation number 13 sub regulation number 5. Regulation number 13 sub regulation number 5 this exam is conducted in accordance with the provisions of this. Okay. Now what is the eligibility criteria for this exam? Who can appear for this exam? Then I am going to give you full information about this exam in this video. So please wait. Okay. So for appearing in this exam, eligibility criteria is number one, working with CHA or custom broker. CHA is the old concept. As of now, legally, the person is referred as custom broker. Number two, already holding H card. How the H card is obtained? When a custom broker employs a person, he will recommend it to the commissionerate to issue the H card. This is an identity card issued in the name of person so that he can appear in the custom area and do certain activities on behalf of the custom broker. So without recommendation of the custom broker, H card is not issued to anyone. Okay. Now once this H card is issued, then after that at least one year has passed at least one year has passed since the H card was issued and then at least 10 plus 2 passed If all the requirements are met, then the person is eligible to appear for G card examination. Otherwise, he cannot. Practically, what I have seen is that those who have done 10 plus 2 and they have not done their graduation, they cannot appear for the next exam which is F card. F card is a custom broker exam. Only 10 plus 2 person can go up to G card. But if you want to be F card holder in future, then either you are already a minimum graduate or while completing this, ensure that you get the graduation degree also simultaneously. But that is not required for G card. Once you get the G card, enroll yourself for the degree and because minimum graduation is required for appearing for F card examination, that is custom broker card examination, right? So here are the minimum criteria. Person is already working with a custom house agent or a custom broker. He is already holding H card. He is having at least one year experience as a, as a H card holder and then he is at least 10 plus 2, 10 plus 2 passed. Then he is eligible to appear for G card examination. Now, once all the eligibility requirements are satisfied, maximum four attempts are available. Maximum four attempts.
he cannot appear for more than four times and exam is reasonably easy in another words i will say it is not very difficult certainly exhaustive study is needed but not very difficult exam is conducted at, at the commissionerate level by the assistant commissioner or deputy commissioner he is going to decide everything so if you have reasonably good knowledge then the chances of getting g card are very very high now why you should get g card because after holding g card for minimum 2 years what is your experience before the g card before the g card is issued to you that is irrelevant after becoming g card holder when you have 2 years of experience and you are a graduate then you are eligible to appear for f card exam that is ultimate right why you should get g card now i hope it is clear to you right h card fresher this is issued to the fresher 10 plus 2 one year completed then appear for g card examination g card issued work for two more years and become eligible for f card examination right this is a very very important exam as far as career is concerned right so i have already told you what is the eligibility criteria and the maximum number of attempts if there is some reason and this g card is not clear what can be done then another criteria for f card you will have to continue your education minimum post graduation required or mba or similar other exam then you can appear directly for f card but that is a long term process right this is easier process so while you are working with the customs department not as an employee of the customs department as a part of the team of custom broker you are continuously interacting with the custom department you know the functioning of the custom department you know the clearance of the baggage clearance of the goods getting f card is much easier becoming custom broker is much easier so you should put in the best of the efforts possible to get the g card here okay now as far as g card exam is concerned generally this exam is also mcq based generally there is no standard rule this exam should be descriptive or or it is or it should be mcq based but as of now the tradition is this is mcq based exam and passing is 60% passing rate is 60% right so this is not 33% 35% 40% 50% no 60% is the passing an mcq based exam now what happens in mcq based exam is that a new multiple choice question mcq stands for multiple choice question can be created on every line of law we can create so unless you are absolutely clear about the legal understanding passing this exam is going to be tough and this is where i help you to prepare for the exam thoroughly right so this is mcq based exam passing percentage is 60% maximum attempts are 4 and as far as syllabus is concerned detailed syllabus is not given under the regulations what is given is customs related laws now when i say customs related laws i mean to say the customs act 1962 the customs tariff act customs tariff act 1975 number of rules and regulations are there under these laws so relevant 
rules and regulations this is the syllabus for your exam custom set complete custom stair effect complete and all relevant rules and regulations actually matter does not end there few notifications are also important okay and uh, let me tell you that since it is law based self study is the most dangerous thing lots of student appear in the exam under the impression that we have already been working with the customs for the clearance of the goods and packages for 5 years and 10 years we know everything and they are the first people who never pass because so exam is law based exam is not procedure based unless you are absolutely clear about the legal aspects of the syllabus or you can say legal subjects examination cannot be passed this is where i can help you so this video is actually to introduce you about the coaching program for g card examination this coaching program is online coaching program now this program covers your entire syllabus what is syllabus i have already told you now two options are available in this first option is pre recorded videos second option is pre recorded videos plus live classes if you attend the class with me a discipline is formed and you necessarily complete the syllabus and chances of passing the exam are substantially higher as compared to watching the pure videos of course that depends upon your commitments towards the job your commitment towards the exam and your existing commitments for the family and other matters so if you can spare a time for the live classroom i will always 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 recommend for going for this but if not possible then this is available in this in both of these courses i will give you thousands i'm not saying 1000 thousands right so 2000 3000 mcqs for practice and chances of any question being there in the exam out of these mcqs is rare earlier you join more time you get to practice you join late you yourself get lesser time to practice so join at the earliest possible so you get thousands of mcqs plus you get x plus rules in a soft copy and any time you have a question anything not clear to you get in touch with me immediately okay so i have given you these options right this is pre recorded and pre recorded plus live in both of these you are going to get the examination test so as many tests you appear the chances of passing the exam getting higher and higher every time you take one test so i strongly recommend right my recommendation i have given you two ways so if you ask me pre recorded or this one i'll recommend this number 2 test as many test possible never ever get away from the test never skip the chance to appear in the test and the moment you pass the test you will get more confidence and the chances of passing the exams are higher right 
I have given you everything about eligibility and the rules and regulations for appearing in the exam and the conditions for this. So there is literally nothing left out. And by chance, if you miss out anything or you want any more information about the course, where you can buy the course, how you can buy the course, how you can subscribe the course, drop a message, a WhatsApp message. Right, WhatsApp message you can drop on. On this number alternatively you can also write on keep these two numbers with you 8080420612 and 9619612800 right now this is about G card I also conduct classes for F card for the custom broker examination, CBLR examination. The batch for 23 examination is almost full, but admissions for CBLR exam 24, that is customs brokers examination for the 2024, those admissions are open. And that course is much more exhaustive. If you intend to appear for 24 examination of the customs for the customs broker license, Minimum one year thorough preparation is needed. And if you spend that much of time, then chances of getting the license are very, very high. For the year 2022, out of total 48 licenses issued, 15 licenses were issued to my students. That is good enough to tell you what do I do in the class? See you soon. Thank you.